hello fam how you doing hope you are doing fine so god wants me to share this great testimony with you so i woke up in the middle of the night <laughs> opened my eyes immediately <laughs> sudden pain on my right leg <laughs> what is happening to my right leg what is happening so i managed to get up from the bed i turned on the lights i looked at my right leg i compared it to my left leg it's like my bone shifted to the wrong side on my right leg when i compared it with my left leg so painful like this is unusual like this is a spiritual attack how do i know how can my leg suddenly pain me my bone shifting to the wrong side i went to bed okay woke up with a shifted bone on my right leg it was so painful i could not stand on my right leg i could not walk on my right leg i started thinking how will i drive today how will I go to work today? Huh. Oh God, please save me. Only you can save me. No one can save me. Not even my housemates. Like it was so painful. I was screaming. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. God save me. Yeah. I looked at the time. 2.30 a.m. in the morning. Huh. My housemates all asleep. No one can help me but God. So I started praying. I knew it was the devil that sent this pain. This is an evil attack. My bone shifting to the wrong side. <laughs> God cannot do that. God is kind. So it has to be the devil. Only God can save me. So I prayed and I said, Oh God, please save me. My bone has shifted. This is not normal. Please save me. How will I drive today? How will I go to work? How will I walk today? Because I couldn't walk. <laughs> and I was praying. I rose my leg on the bed. I put anointing oil. I put a bony key. I started praying on the leg. Every evil arrow fired into this leg. Go back to your sender in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus on this leg. I mean, it was so painful. I kept saying, God, please save me. God, please save me. So as I was putting a bony key, anointing oil, immediately I heard the voice of God. And he told me, begin to rub that leg. Rub that bone. Rub it. So... I used my hand to rub it. And I was just pouring the anointing oil, just pouring, you know, just putting a bony kid. I wasn't rubbing it. So as I rubbed it, hmm, 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 do you know what I saw? I saw the bone shifting to the normal side. Hey, that was a miracle. Like, it's like God shifted the bone before my eyes. I mean, I'm seeing miracle right in front of me. I mean, this type of thing requires surgery but god miraculously shifted my bone to its right position in front of me i mean right before my eyes i mean th this is a miracle have you seen a bone shifting to its right position like i feel like this will take months of physical therapy you know but god did it within a second ah hey i was like oh my god this is a miracle like, I've never seen this before. God is so powerful. God corrected my bone right in front of my eyes. I was shocked. I was like, wow. And immediately he did it. The pain left. The bone is in the right position. Ah, uh -uh. God is a miraculous God. Seriously. You know, I've heard testimonies of people that who cannot walk. Like, immediately they start to, you know, I've heard that immediately their bone is like go, um, shifting and they are able to walk, you know, miracle instant are on point so you know it's one thing to hear it's another thing to see it oh my goodness <laughs> i mean that is what i experienced like i experienced real time miracle of god real time like god shifted my bone right in front of my eyes ah hey i was shocked though god is so powerful he has the power over our bones he has the power I mean, like, serious, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. The devil sent a weapon of bone shifting in my right leg. <laughs> but God did not let it prosper. 
God corrected my bone immediately, right in front of my eyes. Ah! Hmm. God is a miracle working God. You know, it's like when you see it face to face, God performing miracle in front of you. Oh my goodness, you'll be shocked. Ha! Huh? God is truly our guardian. Seriously, God sent his spirit to guide us. Holy Spirit is God. Like when God says he's our present help in time of trouble, ha, 2.30 a.m., ah, God came to my rescue. Before 3 a.m. in the morning, my right leg became better. I mean, wow. Ha. You know, God said, as it, as it was touching my leg, you know, it's my hand, but it's not actually my hand, it's God's hand touching my leg. That touch was no ordinary. I mean, God touched it, God shifted it to, the, to its right position. In fact, I was dreaming, honestly. Like, if not for God, I'll be paralyzed right now. Seriously. Hmm. When God says he's with us, he's truly with us. So, another testimony. Hmm. God healed me from itching. Yes, itching. Hmm. How did it start? Before I even continue, let me tell you about my voice. My voice is back. My voice is back. Remember the last video, my voice was somehow, eh? God healed my voice. Seriously. Look at me talking. Glory to God. So let's go to the itching testimony. Hmm. How did the itching start? Hmm. So recently, you know, I told you I had cold, fever, headache. I took some medicine. All was good. Then I started having cough. Then God advised me to take medicine for the cough. And my cough was going away gradually but i noticed that my body was itching hey so i stopped taking my cough medicine i tried to get another cough medicine at the store majority of them said side effect itching hey so i stopped using cough medicine so i said god please let my cough stop oh, since i have no medicine so God made it stop. Glory to God. <laughs> That's another miracle. Now as for itching, <laughs> I started praying to God to remove the itching. Like when I take a shower in the morning, hey, my body will be itching. I started praying to God, God, please remove this itching unless I can't go to work. I mean, I was rubbing my body. I was like, hey, God, hey. So imagine going to work and your body is itching. Like going to work with your body itching. Ah, that one is serious. You need to take a deal. And I've used all my day off, like seriously, because I was sick with cold and fever the last time. So I had no day off time to use. So I said, oh God, please save me. So immediately, God answered. The itching in my body stopped and I was able to go to work. Like seriously, wow. I was like, wow, God, thank you. I don't know what to do, but thank you, God, I can go to work today. Please, God, save me. Because see, people see you at work, they don't know it's a miracle for you to be there. Like, serious, it's a miracle that I'm not itching at work. It's a miracle that I'm able to walk with my right leg, you know? Hmm. Seriously, hmm. if you have nothing to thank God for, thank God for good health. Like, thank God you are not paralyzed. Thank God you are not itching. Ah! Hmm. Like, these are powerful things to thank God for. Let us not take our health for granted. Hmm. It's a miracle. So... Even me talking to you is a miracle because my dentist destroyed my teeth. Like, seriously. Like, I wasn't able to talk for like a month. It's a miracle I'm talking. God miraculously healed me, restored my tooth, restored everything. Like, God is God is a miracle working God. I'm a miracle baby. I am a living miracle. I'm a living blessing. I'm an evidence that God exists. I'm an evidence that God performs miracles. Like, seriously. So, if you have nothing to thank God for, thank God for your mouth, your leg, ability to eat, ability to talk, walk, see, I mean, like one day I woke up, I could not see properly. I said, praying and God restored my sight. Like, this is very serious. As a child of God, the devil sends attack of sicknesses, like serious, different things. But God did not let it prosper. I'm so happy we have a powerful God. What about you? Thank God because he's powerful. So we'll continue the next video.